All right, tonight are the SAG Awards. You guys are about to get my live reactions to all the winners that are going to be announced here. The big one is Best Actor. Who's going to win? Is it Paul Giamatti or is it Killian Murphy? It's going to be a big tell on who will win the Oscar. So let's just dive on in and get into it. All right, they have Elijah Wood and Sean Astin right now uh, announcing the award for Best Supporting Actress here. I do think, like always, this is going to go to Divine Joy Randolph, or Divine Joy Randolph, as I learned recently on how to pronounce her name. But she's going to be sweeping all the way until the Oscars. She's obviously going to take it home at the end of the night, no surprise. But great nominees here. Um, as I do love Emily Blunt and Oppenheimer, but Daniel Brooks in The Color Purple is just powerful as can be. Um, so, you know, great actors that she's nominated alongside with, but it, there's no question it's going to Divine Joy Randolph. Or Divine Joy Randolph. Yep, Divine Joy Randolph got it. No surprise there. She's incredible in The Holdovers, and I want to rewatch that. Uh, before the Oscars, but she is just incredible. Like I said, sweeping all the way until the Oscars. All right, so we got Idris Elba uh, announcing the winner of Best Supporting Actor. All right, so they got Idris Elba. He's announcing Best Supporting Actor, and they're showing Robert Downey Jr. here right now who is going to win, and he is just absolutely phenomenal in this movie. He deserves to win it. I'm glad he's sweeping all the way through. But Sterling K. Brown, though, for American Fiction, I think his performance is brilliant as well. Um, but like I said, RDJ is taking this one, and I could not be happier about that. All right, here we go. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. <laughs> to no surprise, I could not be happier. I... Yeah, this is great. Sweeping all the way until the Academy Awards. Well-deserved. And I'm sure his speech is going to be pretty funny, too. All right, they got Brendan Fraser here announcing the winner for Best Actor. This is going to tell us a lot about the Oscar race. Killian Murphy or Paul Giamatti? Let's see what happens. After watching all these nominees in their little clips that they're showing, I love all of these performances. I think... They're all deserving, honestly. They're just phenomenal. And Jeffrey Wright here being the last one. His performance was outstanding in American fiction. Here we go. Killian Murphy with the win. Oh, wow. Okay. This this one might do it for me. I think now that Killian is going to win the Oscar as he wins the SAG here and has recently just won the BAFTA. I thought they were going to go with Giamatti. Um... But they went with Killian. This is a big tell uh, for how Oscars could go. Very interesting. I mean, I am so happy that Killian Murphy did win because I absolutely love him. And I think his performance is just so powerful. And I, if I got to kind of go out of the blue, I think I'm going to predict now Killian Murphy to win that Oscar. A lot of thinking to do, though, about it. All right, they are doing Best Actress now. And this one is between Emma Stone and Lily Gladstone. Who's actually going to take it? I'm still pushing with Emma Stone. You know, she's been doing pretty well this entire awards season. I, I do still think even if Lily Gladstone gets it here, that Emma Stone could still win the Oscar. But I, I just after thinking about it for a couple weeks now, I do believe that Emma Stone is kind of, you know, feeling I'm feeling good about her winning this award, but I would not be surprised if Gladstone does end up taking it. So let's just see what happens. All right, and here we go, finding out who's going to take home the win. Okay, it is Lily Gladstone with the win here from SAG. We got a race now. We have a race between Emma Stone and Lily Gladstone for the Oscar. Which way is this going? I, I honestly do not know at the moment. Uh, I'm going to have to think about it for a little bit. But not surprised that Lily Gladstone won. Could she win the Oscar? It's definitely a, a huge possibility now. All right. Um, Lily Gladstone just finished her speech. A phenomenal one at that. Which is also a great way to campaign. 
is through these speeches. And, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't know exactly who's going to win the Oscar now for Best Actress. It could be either uh, Gladstone or Emma Stone. Um, but with the momentum, I think that Lily Gladstone is building, uh, especially with this Seguin, and I think with Oscar voting just starting uh, later or earlier this week when it, when it opened up, her winning the SAG and giving this speech is going to really help her momentum, and I think it could, uh, you know, make her the lead favorite now uh, to win the Oscar. All right, here is the final award of the evening. We have Best Motion Picture Cast, and this is one where I am pretty confident that Oppenheimer is going to take the win. However, I would not be surprised if American Fiction, or American Fiction, I don't know what I said, American Fiction or Barbie um, comes up with the win. Could happen. They don't always correlate with Best Picture, but I am still feeling pretty confident that Oppenheimer will get this award. And here we go. Let's see who's going to win. And Oppenheimer takes the win here. Not surprised. It is a fantastic film, my favorite film of the year, and it is obviously going to win Best Picture, but I believe it has had one of the best casts that I have seen in a very, very long time. It is just incredible. So very glad to see Oppenheimer here take the win. All right, with the SAG Awards now done and out of the way, Let's do a quick recap. First of all, supporting actor, supporting actress, Zell Lock, done. We knew that. Downey Jr., Dave I, Joy Randall, winning those. No question about that. We actually do have a race here, and Best Actor and Best Actress. Is it going to be Killian Murphy or Paul Giamatti or Emma Stone or Lily Gladstone? It is now a race, and, you know, I, I need some a little bit of time to think it over on how it would impact the Oscars. Uh, but keep a lookout on Monday on the channel as I will be releasing an updated Oscar predictions, uh, you know, reflecting on what happened at the SAG. How is that going to change my Oscar predictions? Well, we will find out soon. And also, we'll find out who wins soon because the Oscars are approaching pretty fast, actually. March 10th is when they are coming out. Uh, so I'm very excited to see how our predictions here line up to what's actually going to happen and how your predictions are going to line up. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking about, you know, the Oscar race. How did SAG here affect your guys' predictions? I'd be happy to hear your guys' thoughts below. So keep an eye out on the channel for that video. And that's going to do it for me here, guys. Uh, if you're new here, stick around, subscribe. We do live reactions to all award shows here that have a major impact on the Oscars. And stick around for that Oscar live reaction that I will be doing, of course, on March 10th. All right. Until the next one, guys, my name's Tyson. I'll catch you then.